subway upgrades sound like good news for commuters, but members of one community say it's not that simple. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell shows us how competing construction along Park and Second Avenues is causing concerns for those living and working in East Harlem. These simultaneous subway upgrades straddle the busiest blocks of East Harlem. But before businesses can benefit, some will face a big burden. Greenhouses grow leaves that dance at the Urban Garden Center. For more than 13 years, the third generation shop has called Park Avenue's La Marqueta home. The train loves us. In September, the city helped Dimitri Gatanas move five blocks south to make way for crews reconstructing the Metro North Viaduct. MTA did a lot to make us whole, but it, 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 the gap is so wide. But I don't know if I can afford it. At the same time, construction is set to begin along 2nd Avenue, extending the subway from 96 to meet the Metro North at 125th. MTA Chairman Jano Lieber points to a boom in businesses impacted by the first phase of the project. It's going to be a lot better when there's more mass transit right in front of your store. So this will be a huge benefit for them, and we're going to work with everybody to make sure that the construction impacts are manageable. Down the street from the station, the Brownstone Boutique's owner feels optimistic. It's called Survivor's Row because most of the people on this side of 125th Street actually move from the west side. Princess Jenkins has been in business 25 years, and she feels a similar shift could be coming if they aren't careful. We were so ahead of our time when we named our Merchants Association Uptown Grand Central because the vision was that this station would become the Uptown Grand Central. The group hopes to create spaces that stop commuters in their tracks and encourage them to spend time and money. Community Board 11 Chair Xavier Santiago vows to continue fighting for the small businesses at the heart of El Barrio. We have to maintain these rails and make sure that we can have safe transportation, but it will have an economic impact in the short term. Our ultimate goal is to see a long-term uh, manifestation of success for all of our local businesses and residents. In East Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. And the timeline for construction is expected to take at least five years. Jesse is our community reporter covering Harlem. If you have a story that you'd like to share, you can email harlemtip at cbs.com.